three. Epiphany. Cthulhu. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. So like some kind of religious order that worships Cthulhu maybe? I don't know. Am I able to climb up here? No. Don't have my cyber abilities because I'm not me right now I don't think. Busted shot. Oh, I guess this is I came out of the egg. That must be. I came out of that egg. Okay. Go around this way. There we go. Okay. I don't know. I thought that was a door. I wonder. Are we gonna talk to Mushroom Head Dude again? Uh, this seems different. Oh. You are on a planet known as Rhymra. Revolving around Deneb in the constellation you know as Cygnus. This is a hall of records built by the race Zer Atesh. They made this place to keep the knowledge of the spheres alive. Even replenished it until they faced an unnatural extinction. Ah, so why am I here? Go to the record room and register your DNA into this ancient library. Only then will you see what lies beyond. Okay. Is that here? That looks like the uh, the mask I was wearing in that other section. A bunch of them. Okay. Why can't I open it? to do first. I would like to go register my DNA, please. Do I eh, drag it or something? No. It's just not letting me click it.
strange. Uh, hey, glowing dude. Can I, can I talk to you? No. Oh. Oh, here maybe? I guess that door doesn't work. We'll just go through the broken wall. What could possibly go wrong? Um, all hail Cthulhu. I'm just gonna take this. So we're, we're cool, right? We're good? Okay, thanks. Very, uh, very helpful. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll we'll head back up. Maybe we can use that on the door somehow. Stab the crystal? No. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Oh, God. The sphere is showing the planet Earth. that on the door you, you could have given me a hint spear dude you didn't even say I had to go find a thing and pull a thing and do a thing you just said go to the thing and do the thing jeez man there we go okay you no implication that there was any kind of puzzle there it was just open the door and go do the thing hello it's called Transient. Oh, that's Transient. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. Yes, it's, it's very cool. Creepy skeletons. Kind of. Mummy things. Yeah. It's based on, uh, like, Cthulhu, and it's like a mix of Cthulhu and uh, cyberpunk stuff. It's really Ooh. cool. Yeah. I'm interested. All right. I'm just cleaning up stuff that doesn't need to be in my room. Uh, okay, so go dumping it in my room. I'm not, it's like bathroom stuff and dishes. Okay, thank you. Into the completely not threatening at all door. Excellent. Hello. There is a crystalline object just ahead that is made out of a substance your kind is not supposed to know of. Okay. Some great minds on your planet grasped it as only an idea with meditation and named this substance Urzia. But they did not know that before humanity, a race known as the Great Old Ones had used this substance in the creation of organic life forms on the planet Earth. Touch it to see what fate has in store for your kind. Okay, and, and don't worry, I won't tell anybody that you showed it to me because we're not supposed to know it exists apparently.
<laughs> oh dear. You are transient beings. Living on a placid island of ignorance. Adrift upon the dark sea of infinity. This will be your grand finale. From this point on, you'll enter into dangerous fields. This will protect you from your next destination. Proceed further and meet me in front of the gates of Tehor. Okay. I still don't know where that is. You keep telling me to go to Tehor, but alright. Entering wake up sequence. Wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, from the dream. Did I just bring this object from dreaming into waking life? Mm -hmm. I'm losing my mind. So I wonder if this will... Like, if we hold it up in front of the holographic thing, if it will maybe correspond to the stars. An elder sign, the mysterious protection symbol described in ancient texts. It is believed that this protects the carrier from forces beyond our comprehension. Oh, lovely. I love forces that are beyond my comprehension. It's so peaceful and relaxing. I never even noticed there's a huge video wall with scenery on it there. I am purred. What? Jam? Jam? Oh, I think it's, yeah, it's part of words. Right. Anything new in our, our diary here? No. Okay. Well, let's fire up the hologram again. Updating the file. Okay. All the file updated. Ah. Did that. Now we have red dots. Okay. Yeah. We go back to the journal. Star names. Aldebaran, Deneb, and Sirius. Hey, there's Cygnus. We were just there. I see Deneb. God damn it. Can I not have it upside down?
an ebb. Oh, okay. Serious. Just gotta find all the baron. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, a link was found. I'm curious where this link could lead me. Uh -huh. Let's take a look. Location marked in investigation mode. Back into the chair, eh? <clears throat> Fine, connect to the latest link. Oh boy. So, Alice wants me to see something here. I'd better investigate. Fine. Scan environment for any abnormal activity. Why, thank you for the descri description. Subscription, Duncan. 36 months. That's three years. It's a three-year anniversary. Thank you so much, dude. Not seeing anything here. It's just getting a little janky. It looks like there are problems with the data integrity of the Cyber Enclave file. So, of course, Cyber Enclave, so this is like a dream world that somebody created, like a cyber, like a virtual world. to restore data to a previous version. Okay. Uh, okay. That's a little different. Can we see these a little more clearly now? No. That's the same. Interesting. Oh, hello. Isn't that the guy that's been showing up in all my uh, sort of virtual journeys? Library, eh? later
in them, I assume. Looks like they're monitoring life signs. Artificial hands. Oh, hello. You are testing our patience, Superior. It is forbidden to override your administrative privileges over the city's rules and regulations. It is the sole purpose of your existence. To do your job. Founders! I have been contemplating the reason for my existence for a long time. But my conclusions are not aligned with your choice. When I get what is mine, the superior being will be created as was planned. And it will be me, not one from your kind. You are not going to have such a privilege, Aperion. Whenever we see fit, we can set new rules into motion, including your execution. Do not threaten me, Founders. Mm. This city has no secondary source of control other than those strange crystals of yours, which pose no solution to your problem. You might be the alpha of this grand project, but I will be the Omega. Well, shit. Infinity crystals are damaged beyond repair, and Aperion knows nothing. This city was built to last the Project Providence will go on, whether it is in our favor or not. Hmm. So this is what Alice wanted me to see. Honestly, I'm more confused than I was before. Fi, disconnect me. Well, that's the guy who was kind of, like, putting us on trial at the very beginning. What the hell is this place? Where am I? Oh, dear. Well, it doesn't look like we went back to our chair. Oh, dear. Hey, Clint! Is that you? Virtual domain has been hacked. Well, shit. Oh my god. Unable to disconnect. Oh, great. This is Akeley's apartment hallway. Why did I end up here? Were my implants hacked? Trying each one, I guess, until we get. I don't know which one is his. Hello? All life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no distinction between those world of real things 
and those born of human dreamings, and no cause to allude to one about the other. Interesting. What an interesting philosophy you have. Let's keep trying them all. I have no idea which one is supposed to be his. Wait a minute. Wait, why won't it let me try this one? Akeley in his cryotherapy chamber. What the hell is going on? It seems the healing process has stalled. I have to find a way to restart it. This is definitely one of Akeley's game projects. He might have hidden some information in it, just like Alice did. Okay, well, we'll try that uh, after. Oh. Okay, so some kind of puzzle box. Looks like, okay, looks like we have symbols on the wall. Look up the monkey's butt. No, nothing. Okay. Strange depiction of Magnum in a Menandum, an incorporeal reality warping Elder God. Okay, so we have symbols there. Dead body in here, not Akeley, I'm assuming. Fine, scan the body. Hmm. So he was a human proxy, controlled remotely by someone. Let's see what I can learn from him. Oh, okay. Let's kind of see what he saw. Oh, he was there to murder. Or no, someone else murdered him. Oh, okay. He tried to murder Akeley, and then Akeley went in the healing chamber to try to heal. But it's busted. Gotcha. Alright. All right. Alright, we saw this already. I thought it was something new. Okay, cool. Anyway, can I move now? Thank you. Hacked human proxy, serious implant failure, no pulse detected, excessive blood loss, internal bleeding. Brain hack detected, he was, he was controlled remotely, memory modules are still intact, his final memories can be played back. Okay. What's this? Audio log. Play. There is hearsay about someone or something called a Pyrion roaming free out on the net. It is said that it can reach every nook and cranny without any constraints. For some, it can even enter your mind and your dreams without a connection. Oh, there is even a secret underground group who regards it as a god. I'm sure it is directly connected to Capra Corporation. Uh, curse the day we embarked our last mission. After all these sleepless nights, I found something unbelievable. Blueprints showing other cities connected to our own by complex underground networks. Even though it sounds crazy, 
it is perfectly reasonable and aligns well with the other historical narratives of this city. All this time, we thought that only our city protected itself against the merciless time. It resists the seductions of eternity that would erase us in an instant from the grand picture of cosmic scorn. But now, I strongly believe that this damn city is nothing but a lie. Huh. That's right, the soul structures, the environment, the <clears throat> matrix, the city of sin is a damn lie. I have to get away from here, out of this city, or else a Pyrion is going to reach me and kill me as it did Alice. I will stay out of the grid for a while and try to shake off the tail. After that, I will try to find the tram station. Yesterday, in a dream, I saw a Pyrion. Out of the inconceivable twilight, it loomed like a glad of cold blue flame, twitching in the fog. Everything is cloudy now, but I distinctly remember the sensation I felt from talking to it with the five feeble senses I pretend to comprehend. Hmm. Like a trembling voice, it buzzed and screeched out of the immense dimness into the unsettled brightness. His final manifestation marked the end of this hideous dream. Oh, God, what a wicked shape it had. Okay. Well, a lot of info there. So now, well, what's this say? An anonymous cyber terrorist team to break into a Solrin technology multinational research lab. Uh, okay, cool. So, so we are to assume one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Okay, so the guy doing uh, karate kick and his penis jutting out, that's the first one. And then uh, a sailboat. Okay, so karate kick penis. Well. well, they seem to be mirrored. Okay, so we'll try karate kick penis and sailboat. House by the Hill and uh, Mandelbro. Uh, what? Is that one even? That one's not even on there. Oh no, it is. House by the Hill, Mandelbro. Uh huh. And then that one and that one. Turns them. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Okay. So, karate kick penis and sailboat. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That seems to be correct. Now they're all the right way around.
Well. Hold on. There. Well, so now that matches. depiction of Magnum Inamanandum, an incorporeal reality warping elder god. Okay. So, I mean, all the symbols match. Uh, they all exactly match this. They're in the same order. Oriented the same way. This is just a cool statue, I think. There's nothing... Markings on it, nothing. All this does is rotate it. So, I mean, this has to be a clue. They're all exactly the same. So what was the... A strange depiction of Magnum... Reality warping. Clue. Probably a clue in here. New game. 